Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for coming back for another motivational cleaning video. Today I have a whole house two day clean for you finally. I know you've been asking for it so I'm happy to finally be doing this for you all. Life has been really busy as usual and not slowing down anytime soon so my house is really really bad and school starts next week so in order for us to get back into a routine I have to sort this out. Laundry girl, you already know I'm not doing it. I've done a few loads here and there, even folded some and never put it away. All of our bedding and everything else needs to be washed and put away. My kids' rooms need a serious deep clean. Being home all day, they've been playing in their rooms, so it's super dusty. I haven't deep cleaned their rooms in about two months. They will be using their rooms as a classroom for a virtual school, so I want them to have a clean space to focus in. Their closets need to be decluttered and organized. I have a ton of laundry to put away, so I might as well do that now. Overall, my entire house is dirty, dirty. I made sure to get some good close-ups of it all to bring you a satisfying and still extremely motivating cleaning video. This is one of my favorite cleaning videos so far that I've created. It's a really good one, so make sure you watch until the end. I made this as long as possible too, so if you enjoyed these motivational, real-life cleaning videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified. With all that said, let's get started. Starting in the kitchen with offloading the dishwasher and loading it back up, clearing off the countertops, wiping it down. I need to clean out the microwave and the little drawer under the oven is gross. Speaking of, that part of the refrigerator that I showed you guys in my vlog and at the beginning of the video is getting clean today. I saved it for this video. So right as I started to record this video, girl, there was a whole snake in our backyard. <laughs> when I started filming, that completely threw me off because I had to make sure Amir wasn't going to try and run out to touch it. He doesn't understand it's dangerous. I showed it on my Instagram and had a ton of questions about it. I'll answer those in my next vlog. <laughs> I'm using the Jaws disinfectant spray for the bar stools and the granite cleaner for the countertops. After this, I'll clean the other side of the counters and the microwave, but while I'm here, I have to mention the temporary backsplash is holding up really well. I haven't experienced any issues with it. I highly recommend it if you're looking for a way to spruce up your kitchen. It comes off clean or it says it does. I'll update you on that when I remove it, but my landlord has been here for inspections a few times and I think they'll end up keeping it because it does add a nice touch to the kitchen.
so we don't use this and we never have i've always had our spring water delivered and they come and collect the bottles to be reused but the kids sometimes push this and white stuff comes out it makes ice and the little ones figure that out and have been messing with it and i find little pools of water all over the house I tried to vacuum it at first, but it's stuck on there, so I grabbed one of my little small cleaning brushes and then just wiped it off and it looked much better. This is the drawer under the oven where I keep my waffle maker and sandwich press. It's full of crumbs and oil so I'm going to quickly clean that out before wiping down the rest of the appliances and hand washing a few leftover dishes then scrubbing the sink. The kitchen is nice and clean, but not for too long. I'm going into the girls room now to put away laundry that I folded a few days ago and fold more laundry. Like I said in the beginning of the video, their room is super dusty and dirty. I had them pick up most of what was on the floor before this, but now they're cleaning up the living room. I'll show you a before and after of that before I clean out there. Stay. 
Now that I folded everything, I'm going to deep clean and straighten up the closet before putting away the rest of the clothes. Then I'll work my way to the chest of drawers and the drawers under the bed. Cleaning under the beds, wiping down surfaces, dusting, and vacuuming.
There was a tipped over applesauce pouch in this cubby. The girls know they aren't allowed to eat in the room. I missed this the last time I came in here to clean their room and it was disgusting. Oh my god, I scolded them so bad because I was folding laundry in here and I tipped over a cup that I thought was water, but it turned out to be rotten almond milk. And if you've ever smelled rotten almond milk, you know exactly what I mean. It's gross. I went off on them. That's when I said, I'm not cleaning their room anymore. It's their responsibility, but I will come in and do a deep clean every once in a while. One of my followers suggested this green mom to me for cleaning the TV, so I'm using it for the first time today and I liked it. It got all the fingerprints off and no residue. A little goes a long way. I used way too much on the TV in the living room and had to go back over it a few times with a cloth. Staring at the stars for hours Cause you're the one who came I could be the one who saved you from the The last thing I'm doing in the girls room is changing the bedding. The quilts are still washing and a pillow was missing but I'll put that in at the end. In the laundry room, I'm getting a load going and separating the linens. Normally, I don't have this much bedding to wash, but the kids have been making forts. Summer is over and our school routine is ahead, so I just let them. What else can they do? In my son's room, I'm doing the same thing as I did in the girls' room. If you're wondering what happened to the third picture frame, it broke while I was sleeping in here with Emir one night. I hit the wall and it fell off and hit me in the shin and the glass shattered. He doesn't usually sleep in here and I thought these were secure, but I definitely will be taking these down because that could have been him.
This was the last part of day one. Emir wasn't breathing properly. He was gasping for air and didn't look well. And he's never done that before. So I had to call 911. And yeah, that was scary. I talked about it in my vlog more. So day two, I picked up right where I left off in his room to finish up dusting and cleaning. Then I moved into the girl's bathroom to deep clean it. These are some of the clothing his teacher sent home at the end of the year that are still in these Ziploc bags. They're clean, but I know they don't fit him anymore, so I'm donating these. I went to grab my steam mop and checked in on the kids cleaning up the living room and as you can see they have not done a thing it usually takes me being out there to keep redirecting them or else they won't get it done i gave them until i was done cleaning the bathroom to get it together
The last thing in my son's room is making his bed, and then the girls stopped me to show me that they found a tiny, itty bitty baby lizard in the house. They know to get it away from Emir as soon as possible because he's not gentle. I feel so bad for them when they get trapped inside because they'll die after a few days, so we let it outside. Look at how cute he is. Now it's time to deep clean the girls' bathroom. I've done quick spot cleans sometimes, but now I'm going to really get it nice and clean top to bottom. Shouldn't have known if I was the one who's drowning. Drowning in your flood, it's overwhelming me. But I guess it's clear to me now. After staring holes in all my walls, don't you cut me off like you did that time. Once was already enough, I'd say. But I wonder.
this is about an hour later. I've still been doing laundry. I took a break to eat lunch and feed the kids. I'm still doing a lot of laundry and I have a lot to go, but I've been tossing it in the girls' room. That's why I didn't share an after shot of their room because that's where the laundry waits. I had them all laid out so it wouldn't wrinkle before I could fold them. The kids finally got the living room cleaned up and now I want to vacuum all the floors and surface clean this whole area before I fold all of the linens. I just wiped off some makeup. I let the girls play with makeup the other night for the first time and Amir went crazy with it. I'm also using um, Clorox wipes, wipe down the knobs and light switches.
All of this dry pasta is from the little ones pretend packing their lunches. The only part of the kitchen that isn't locked is the pantry. The lock I bought for it doesn't fit, so I'm considering putting up a gate on both sides to keep them out. I'm going to come back to the floors to mop. The little leftover pieces are actually stains. You probably can't see that on camera, but now I'm going to fold all the linens and put them away. Right after that, I'm going to shampoo this area rug and mop the entire house. put the girls rugs back down in the bathroom after they dried and I'm almost done here the kids rooms bathroom and living areas are clean I just have a few things to put away in my room and make my bed my room and bathroom were cleaned already I feel like I'm blaming everything on Emir but it really be him he gets into a lot of things that he shouldn't anyway he threw some frozen dragon fruit on top of my cubby and it melted and stained the wall and bookcase after that I just decided to clean the room and that snowballed into me cleaning the bathroom as well. And 
that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, leave it a thumbs up and I'll make more like this. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you all in my next video.